It actually will not be more than three days gone by, and this will be my semi detailed lesson plan with the topic of the gate of Magi. Hello, Mr. Spark Mom. Okay, class, please stand for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good afternoon, class. In a way, before you sit down, we will read some pieces of papers and arrange your chairs. Okay, you will now take your seat. I will check your attendance first. Hali, Dubai, Biranya, Kano, Balais, and Tuyor. Everyone is present, so clap your hands. Okay. Um, I will give you a plus point because all of you are present. So now, what was our previous topic, Biranya? Yes. Our previous topic is all about Tungkong Lamit and Alucina. And I know that all of you are familiar and a little bit enough about that topic. So, before we dive into our formal discussion, let's have an activity first. So, this activity is called Gifts of Insight. So, this activity is called Gifts of inside. So one thing that you need to do is you need to give your understanding or ideas about giving gifts to someone. Okay, how about first is first one is um Hale. What is your understanding about giving gifts to someone that we love? Yes, thank you, um, Hale. How about you to your? Okay, thank you. How about you, Kano? Thank you. How about you, Bolaes? Okay, thank you, Hale, to your, Kano, and Bolaes for your cooperation. In our activity. So now, I have a question here, which is why giving gifts to someone is important. Okay, for five points. Why giving gifts to someone is important, Talent. Yes. Now, our topic this afternoon is all about the gifts of magic. Okay. In this afternoon, our topic is all about the gift of Magai. But now I will present with you our learning objectives. So at the end of this lesson, the student should be able to reflect on the significance of sacrifice and its portrayal in literature and identify and analyze the theme of sacrifice in the gifts of Magai. So, are you ready, class? Are you ready to our um, discussion in this afternoon? Yes, yeah, so this will be the summarization of the story of the mad, the gifts of Magai. This will be the uh, summarization. But <coughs> We don't have enough time to discuss it one by one, so I'm going to present with you a short video about the gifts of Magai. Okay, are you ready, class? Okay, um, when I started um, clicking the play button, so one thing that we need to do is listen and understand because after the short video, I'm going to throw some questions okay did you understand thank you it's a short story written in 
1905 by O. Henry, the pen name of William Sidney Porter, said on Christmas Eve, the story is about a husband and wife who sacrificed their most prized possessions and, in an ironic twist, realize the richness of their love for one another. The story has been widely adapted and remains a treasured Christmas tale. The story opens on Christmas Eve. Della, a selfless and frugal woman, is distraught. For months, she has been saving up to buy a Christmas gift for her beloved husband, Jim. However, Jim's pitiful salary of $20 per week has only afforded her $1.87 for a present. Far from the amount she would need for a gift worthy of Jim's love. Forlorn, Della begins to cry, but suddenly catches a glimpse of herself in a mirror. She admires her long hair, which falls past her knees. Along with Jim's gold watch, which was passed down from his grandfather, Della's beautiful hair is one of the couple's most treasured possessions. Della has an idea. Putting on her weather-beaten coat, she walks down the street to a shop. Della asks the joyless shop owner, Mrs. Silfrey, if she will buy Della's hair. After examining it, Mrs. Silfrey offers Della twenty dollars for her hair, and Della agrees. Hair shorn, Della browses the nearby shops in a kind of trance, desperate for the perfect present for Jim. After two hours of shopping, she decides on a gift, a platinum chain to replace the worn leather strap on Jim's watch. The chain costs $21, leaving Della only 87 cents. Returning to the apartment, Della prepares Christmas dinner and frantically curls her short hair, trying in vain to look less like a schoolboy. She hears Jim's footsteps on the stairs and suddenly worries that he will no longer find her beautiful. When Jim finally sees Della, his face is inscrutable, and Della cannot tell if he is surprised or angry. She cries out that she sold her hair to buy him a Christmas present, and hopes that he is not cross with her. Suddenly, Jim puts his arms around Della, placing her Christmas gift on the table. She opens the gift and shrieks. It is a pair of jeweled tortoise shell combs that Della admired in the shop window for months, a present that is now useless to her. After assuring Della that nothing could make her less beautiful than his eyes, Jim opens her present to him, the watch chain. Dumbfounded, Jim admits that he sold his watch to buy her the combs. Realizing the irony of their sacrifices, the couple decides to put away their Christmas gifts and have dinner. In a brief epilogue, the story's narrator compares Jim and Della to the biblical magi who brought gifts to the baby Jesus. Of all who give gifts, the narrator says of Della and Jim, these two were the most wise. Hey, did you understand the story? The short story. Um, it seems to be seems all of you are knowledgeable enough about the story, so I'm going to ask Mr. Balaes what is your understanding about the story? Okay, so According to Mr. Galatis, that this story is symbolizes um, more on sacrifices, and I agree with that. Um, if you love someone, so very much to crucial, good, get to mood, you must have the most best para lang nalipay ang imuhang partner. Okay, tapos nagbata. Okay, so now, um. The moral story of 
the gifts of Magai is all about selfless love, um, the gifts of giving, and materialism versus love. So the gifts of Magai is the timeless tale that resonates with readers for its universal themes of emotional impact. So um, this, uh, the story of Maulay is very kind of reality, diba no? If may gumpata sa sa katao, so ato ang yung hato na itong best para lang malimay siya. Okay, nagkasinabot ka. So for your um, application or assessments, um, uh, you need to So this will be the instruction. What were your greatest gifts that you have received in your life? And why do you consider this as your greatest gift? So the guidelines, using your writing feature, you must answer the question by creative my day. So this will be the criteria. Creativity 40%, impact 10%, Draw more, 50%, a total of 100%. Okay, you still have three minutes to upload your My Day, okay? Okay, thanks all. So now, get one more sheet of paper and create a reflection about your understanding the story of Magai. Okay. You still have two minutes to answer. Okay, time's up. For your assignment, um, you will ask students to find a real-life example or story that mirrors the themes of sacrifice and love discussed in The Gift of Maga. Have them share their findings in the next class. Okay? Your assignment will be passed on Friday. Okay? Got it? Okay. That's all for today. Thank you for your listening and for your time. Goodbye, class.